babe? What are you wearing? You're dangerous. It's been 36 years since the movie that made Tom Cruise a star came out. And in less than a week, I'm going to see Top Gun Maverick, which is a sequel I didn't think we'd ever get. But does the original still hold up? Let's talk about it. Top Gun is directed by Tony Scott and produced by Jerry Bruckheimer. Now I'll admit the first Top Gun is definitely one of those films that's more style over substance, but I just watched the original in 4K and I gotta say, I still really enjoyed it. This movie literally launched Tom Cruise's career as well as made Jerry Bruckheimer a big shot producer. And since then, those two gentlemen have gone on to have some of the biggest careers in Hollywood. And I'm sure a lot of you may have never even seen the original, so let's talk about it a little bit. Top Gun is about an elite school for fighter pilots where they train for intense aerial combat. Now back in the 80s people had kind of fallen out of love with those fighter pilot type films and so when Top Gun came along not only did it revive that genre of film but it also caused a lot of people to join the Navy. So in a way when I think of America I think of Top Gun and being that I was in aviation when I was in the military I actually did search and rescue on these helicopters I just really enjoy any movie that has to do with military aviation. And not only did this movie feature some of the coolest aerial combat scenes to date, but it also has one of the most badass soundtracks in movie history, featuring a lot of the biggest artists that were around in the 80s. And the soundtrack is so good that I wonder if they're gonna be able to top it in Top Gun Maverick. But let's get into the plot a little bit more. So Tom Cruise is this fighter pilot who flies on, I believe, F-14s. There's a lot of scenes involving planes taking off and landing on aircraft carriers. And this movie also shows some of the high stress situations these fighter pilots get in. Tom Cruise plays Maverick, who is a hotshot fighter pilot that likes to get into trouble, whether that be breaking some of the rules or doing flybys a little bit too close to the tower. But when he gets sent off to this elite school, nicknamed by fighter pilots themselves as Top Gun, we see him in his training, proving himself to be one of the best pilots in the Navy, while also getting himself into some trouble. And there is a lot to do with this love interest. He falls in love with this woman who actually turns out to be one of the teachers at this school. So you can see how there's that teacher-student relationship that kind of shouldn't be happening, but it is. And it's very romanticized with a bunch of 80s music. The plot is really not that complex. It's definitely a simple, stylized story that focuses more on the look and the feel of the time and what these pilots are doing more than it focuses on an actual story. But there is a pretty gut-punching moment at the end. The way this movie was shot and the way it's acted out, it's almost like it ventured into the territory of being cheesy or campy, but because it was executed so well, it just works. It's not a perfect movie. I don't even know if I would say it's a great movie, but it's badass and it's just a really fun watch. And with those thoughts, I am gonna give the original Top Gun from 1986 a 7.5 out of 10. I've heard a lot of good things about Top Gun Maverick. They've been doing a lot of early screenings and I'll be going to see it on Tuesday, so I'm very excited for that. But if you haven't seen the original Top Gun, I highly recommend you check it out. It's also just cool to see Tom Cruise in his early days when he wasn't really that big shot actor yet. But let me know down in the comments, what do you think? Are you a fan of Top Gun or do you think it's kind of overhyped? And also, what would you rate it? And if you guys like these reviews, you want me to keep doing them, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share them with your movie lover friends. Also, G Fuel code Danny D is 10 to 30% off. My official Danny Dorito 23 G Fuel shaker is dropping this Saturday, May 20th first and code Danny D will be 30% off for that. It's actually 30% off at the time of this upload. I will also be doing a special 24 hour stream to celebrate that launch on Twitch. So be sure to go follow if you haven't already. We're going to be playing a lot of games and I love talking about movies and TVs. So come join us. And today's special word is dangerous. If you include the word dangerous in your comment down below, I know you watched the whole thing and you're a real one. That's going to be it for this one, guys. As always, stay safe, be nice to each other out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!